Well, today I'm over at the shop. I wanted to take a look at my motor and uh, see if I can figure out what crank is in it so I can determine if it's internally or externally balanced. And then I want to look at some of the parts that I bought along with it. So stick around. So on this crank, the code is 4MA. The guy told me this was a 460, but I think it's a 351 Cleveland. But I'll look up the code. And then over here, I can't really read that. I think it's, I can't tell. I really can't tell. That's pretty crappy casting. So uh, maybe there's one over on this side that's easier to read. And no. Uh, well, so I'm going to have to figure this one out. Not that I need it right now. Uh, the main caps are their number one, two, three, four. And I'll try and look at this better, but can't really see that so um, I'll try and like freeze it on the thing and look it up so that's these parts in here and then I have the heads that I was trying to figure out previously and I know they are 460 heads double springs and uh, some of my parts so I got a new cam I got uh, uh, oil pump, I got timing chains, I got everything. So I'm gonna be, uh, there's a nice Sean Murphy induction carburetor. And I have a, what is this? Edelbrock Performer 460, that'll be going on there. So, um, that's what I have in here. So, um, and then parts for I got a lot of parts ready to go so that's what I have in here well the uh, crank in the uh, old boat motor is a 3YA crank but the one I really want to know is what's in the motor that I'm gonna use here besides this broken off stud which I just noticed that'll have to come out All right, so here is the block that came out of the boat. I'm looking for a number on it. There, it's a D, D9TEAB. And the crank is, if I can find it on a counterweight. He said it's on a counterweight. There it is. It is a 3YA. Um, so this is the block that I'm gonna be rebuilding. Well, it's already rebuilt. I'm gonna put a cam and put the heads back on it. And it is, see if I can find the, uh, it's on a counterweight. Let me, hopefully I'm not making everybody sick. It's here somewhere. Try not to get greasy in my flip flops and so forth. There it is. 2Y A B C. There we go. And this block, pretty sure, is a uh, D1 VE. So let me get around there and see if I can see that. And I think this is going to be two things. It's going to be a decode and code. Yeah, D. Or it can't be B. So it's a D I V E block. So now that I have the codes or the casting numbers, now I can figure out what they are. So we'll do that. And I'll show you where I found the casting numbers. Here's another one that I bought, and this is a Dove block, D-O-V-E-A. So this is a 70 block. It's probably like totally 
as you can tell it's pretty rusty but uh, I don't know what and I doubt I can rotate the crank to get to a counterweight so we can see what what it is so it should be around here somewhere but hell if I can see it so anyway so there's a DOVE this is supposed to be a 260 right here that I got and I'm looking for castings on it but find any right off the bat so this is a 260 with a solid lifter cam and then over here somebody's making noise this is a 351 no, I don't know where the casting is there's 13 a I don't know where they have the casting for the numbers on these blocks. But it is a 351 Windsor. So. And then I got all the parts. More parts. More parts and pieces in those uh, exhaust manifolds from the boat that I eventually, when my shoulder is better, I'll get and take and uh, sell on eBay or whatever. So. There you go. Oh, and if you need an old square baler for parts, let me know. As you've seen in the rest of the video, I have casting numbers for the crank, the cranks, and I want to know if they're internally balanced or externally balanced. Um, I think the 460 um, blocks, 1979 and on, or externally balanced, so they have like that weight on the front of the crank on the exterior, so they're exter exteriorly balanced. You know, the 429 that I have, that's a 71, is an internally balanced motor. And I don't want to change flywheels and all that. I'm just going to reuse what I have. So hopefully the, the, the new crank, the new motor, has an internally balanced um, crank. So this is the website that I found. I'm not uh, affiliated with it in any way. It just is a good tool that I found. Um, and you can see what it is casting numbers dot info um i'll put the link in the description as well but uh this is what i use so um go to the make that you have and then select the category what you're looking for crankshafts and then select type of motor cleveland v8 windsor v8 or 385 series which is 429 460 and then the cranks that I have, I have a 3YA, which 3Y is in 79 up. So that would be, um, I'm guessing, uh, externally balanced motor. So the, the old boat motor, which ties in with the date on the block, um, it's an 80s motor, hence it's got an externally balanced crank. The other one, as you can see, the 2YABC is a pre-79 motor. It's a 460 crank. And it's the internally balanced motor. So I'm happy as all get out. So, um, But the other odd thing is when I'm looking at this, they don't have the 4MA. So I'm wondering... You know, that was sold to me as a 429 crank with a 429 block, but I now think that it is something other than that. So let's look at the Cleveland 4MA. It is a Cleveland V8. No, 351 Cleveland, 3.5 inch stroke. And it says Boss and HO have Brennan on hardness test mark located on a polished counterweight I didn't even look for that so we'll have to go back and look but it's a 70 to 74 <clears throat> Cleveland crankshaft so um, there you go so now I have a few um, 429 460 cranks and Cleveland crank so anyways that's what the beauty of this is um, you know, if you want to go and look up blocks, I think you can engine blocks in Windsor V8. So you can go and 
I don't know if they have it in here, the 2C3OEB. I don't know if I took video of that or not, but if I did, that's what it is. So anyways, it's a cool tool. Um, I don't, I didn't look at any of the GM or the other ones. I just looked at the Ford stuff because that's usually what I'm working on. So, um, but yeah, use the tool. I don't know whose website it is, but, uh, hopefully they'll get a little credit on their AdSense account by us looking at it. So, so there you go. So hopefully that helps you out a lot. Um, hopefully in the video, not here, but at home, I'm going to show you where I found, um, all the casting numbers uh, website hopefully I can show you the screen and uh, I'll put the link below where that uh, Ford casting number website is so um, as always thank you very much for watching if you have any questions put them in a the, put them in the comments um, you know I appreciate everything thank you everybody have a great day